I want to talk a little bit about boxing, and maybe a couple of these. I've spoken about it before, the deplorable condition of the sport, the decline of which may be a cultural phenomenon, moving away from its obvious brutality, the same way we try to separate ourselves from the death penalty, as if that makes us more civilized. There's also the corruption that accompanies the huge paydays. Or the sport may only be in a lull. If so, it's a very deep lull. Then, too, nothing lasts forever, not even gladiatorial combat. But it's also possible that, given the right circumstances, meaning personalities, there could be a resurgence of interest in the sport. Right now, though, the field appears to be fallow. One of my favorite Shakespearean titles is Much Ado About Nothing. Well said. It summarizes a fundamental human proclivity. We might even be said to be specialists in this, in making something out of nothing, and a great big whopping something at that. We have an entire industry, advertising, dedicated to just that, drumming things up to a peak of froth, whether they have substance or not. Sell the sizzle, not the steak. Television fairly sizzles with advertising, but then television itself is a triumphant testament to much ado about nothing. That's what television is, and what television does. Create that much ado out of nothing. That's why it's such a profitable medium. That's why it could extend from three networks or options to four, and then to more too numerous to count. And then came the internet, which meant that television could expand into infinity, taking its much ado everywhere. Man's reach not merely exceeding his grasp, but completely obscuring it. We're all reach, no grasp. Think about that for a moment. All reach, no grasp. Desire without comprehension. What kind of a heaven is that? Of course, you could argue that human life follows this pattern. Theater, music, the arts, Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, sports. As one athlete asked years ago about the Super Bowl, if it's the game to end all games, why are they playing it next year? I recall one television show that perfectly encapsulated this phrase, much ado about nothing. It was a so-called news special fronted by a special newsman, Geraldo Rivera. He was going to open up a room that had belonged to the criminal kingpin, Al Capone. How tantalizing. Who knew that he would discover this in this long, sealed vault. It was exactly like standing outside King Tut's tomb before it was opened. I think it was a two-hour special. Rivera had to fill and blow as workers broke a passage into the room. He was equal to it. Two hours of sensational blather and speculation, and when expectations were highest, he crawled into the room. This was a live show with raw footage, and there was nothing. An empty room. He was philosophical about it. That's the way it goes. Sometimes you hit a dry hole. But this is about boxing. There was a fight not too long ago. They billed it as the fight of the century, which is funny from the get-go since we are only 15 years, baby steps, into it. It was funnier still because it was two lightweights who were fighting, and boxing has always been measured and even defined by the heavyweight division. Not this time. It was even more laughable as an attraction because both of the fighters were well past their primes. I believe that one was 39 and the other 38. This was the fight of the century. Seats at ringside sold for thousands of dollars. Pay-per-view at home, I think it was a hundred bucks, maybe more. Each fighter claimed a record purse. I ignored it. I considered it an embarrassment to the sport, an example of how far it had fallen. And that's the way it played out, 12 rounds of nothing. Neither fighter laid a glove on the other, leading to a decision which nobody won. An empty room, a dry hole. It was so bad that when it was over, no one spoke about it. The sport had laid a huge stinking turd, and the only thing to do was to walk away and pray that people would forget until the hype machine can pump up another farce that the gullible, hungry people will buy. The shame is that... There is substance in the sport of boxing. It isn't nothing. It's as real as human endeavor can be. The shame comes when it's stripped down to much ado, 
and then it seemed somehow to be even less than nothing, a mockery, Plato's shadows on the wall of the cave, that empty room.